because we started you had like zero subscribers pretty much maybe a couple and then we got to 16k is that right yeah li literally zero like i started with you when i had zero and we would be at more too if i was more consistent i actually get a lot of people telling me they found me through youtube so i did a cohort launch back in january of 2024 and that did 200k approximately i think a little bit over 200k cash collected yeah youtube was a huge part for that hey what's going on guys i got dakota here who's one of our clients at tick scale dakota what's going on give us a quick intro Howdy, boys and girls, ladies and gents. Yeah, my name is Dakota Robertson. I've been working with Eamon for about a year now, I believe, just coming up to a year. But yeah, I basically help people grow, monetize their personal brand, write better, all that's fun stuff. But yeah, I came to Eamon for YouTube because I knew he did great work with other clients in the past. And uh, yeah, I've been working with him for a while. So first thing I want to touch on is your subscriber count. Because we started, you had like zero subscribers pretty much maybe a couple, and then we got to 16K, is that right? Yeah, li literally zero. Like I started with you when I had zero. And we would be at more too if I was more consistent. The, the one problem I ran into was like, I was just doing too much stuff and then I would stop posting YouTube videos. So, I mean, it would probably be, I'd say double that if I was more on the ball with it. But yeah, like you guys were fantastic. You and I Ishmael with the editing, ideation, with thumbnails especially too. So you guys were fantastic awesome appreciate it let me ask you this because i know you mentioned you had zero subscribers before working with us like what do you think stopped you from doing youtube on your own before working with us especially since you're such a huge like organic content guy you run up twitter you run up linkedin what stopped you from doing youtube for so long i think the main thing was time so for me i'm already on well before that i was on four other platforms so adding another platform in the mix especially youtube which is a lot more effort in my opinion it was like oh okay i can't I just don't want to do this right now. But when the stars align, I was like, okay, I'm ready to make the leap. I think a big thing is is time for a lot of people. And I, I think me, I, I knew myself, there's no way I was going to edit all those videos and, and sort through everything. There's no way in hell. And that's where I knew you from Client Ascension. And I just know that you know the stuff. You you keep on the ball with the trends and ideation and what works for editing and, and coming up with a style that resonates with the person's audience. So it's just an easy pick going to you. Yeah, makes sense. Cool. And then have you ever worked with any other like video content agencies before or were we kind of like the only ones? I mean, I, I heard someone on Fiverr to do short form video in the past. That was all right. And then paid a thumbnail designer before. Dude, like you guys are fucking top tier with the speed it takes to put out stuff is really fast. And then the quality is great. And then even if I if I have feedback or like, hey, can you make the, these changes? You guys are just like on the ball, like, yeah, let's do it. Like you guys are really like top notch and just the quality is great. It's fantastic. And how you guys will go above and beyond and how fast that delivery is. Yep, appreciate it. And then same thing with the videos, right? Obviously that's the thumbnails. For the video turnaround time, was that like super quick too? Like on That was like a week. Yeah, unless it was like a long, long video. We just did an hour long video. That one took like two, three weeks or something, but that was like a long, long video. So I don't even blame you. That was like four videos in one, so it should take that long. But yeah, you guys are really fast. And then with short form content too, because we did some of that, you guys are just like super fast as well. I couldn't even keep up. Now, this question isn't even about YouTube specifically, just in general, whether it's LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube. What makes you want to lean so hard on organic rather than like dumping a ton of money on paid ads? I don't think there's anything wrong with paid ads. I think it's actually a really good thing. For me, I just never got into it. I will get into it eventually. But I think even if you are in paid ads, you should 100% be doing organic. Because it's only going to amplify your paid ads. Because when someone sees an ad, chances are they're going to search you up. And if you don't have any social media presence organically, they're going to be like, the, the trust isn't going to be there, right? But if someone clicks on your ad, they don't buy from you right away or book a call, you know, they still might follow you. And then you're nurturing those people when you're creating content. And then not to mention, you're also attracting new people that you wouldn't have attracted before organically. And that momentum builds up. Like with paid ads, you have to spend money and then you can get an ROI. But with organic content, you know, once you reach a certain threshold, that's going to compound through the network effect. And that's going to be tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of traffic you would have had to spend with paid ads as opposed to organic. And I think the trust is a lot more when you do organic rather than paid. So I, I just think it's a no brainer. I think every person with a business that sells something online should be doing organic. Yeah, completely makes sense. Yeah, I agree with you where it's like paid is good, but like organic is like a necessity. And then once you add paid on top, it's like adds fuel to the fire. Yeah, right. Exactly. Cool. Dope. Okay, I think I have like three more questions for you. So one of them would be since you're experienced with like every platform, right? How would you say YouTube compares to the others, right? Like let's say you get 100K views on YouTube versus 100K views on Twitter or Instagram. Like how does the quality per viewer compare? I think the quality is much higher on YouTube 
compared to any other platform because one is the intent. So if someone's searching something up, like how to do X, Y, Z, then they're actively looking for a solution. And if they're looking for a solution, they're way more prone to buy something from somebody. So if I was to sell something, you know, they're like, oh yeah, let's let's do it. The audience on there, I think they just got a longer attention span. You know, with tweets or reels, it's like, okay, blah, 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 on to the next. With YouTube, people are willing to sit down for 10, 20 minutes to watch a video, even hours. So I think that correlates to being a higher quality audience in my opinion and then the nurturing aspect like if someone can see and hear you it's way stronger you take more real estate in someone's mind rather than just reading a three second tweet so i think the conversions are far greater with youtube rather than any other platform simply because there's more trust built in my opinion when someone can cheer your tonality see your body language all that yeah it makes complete sense like when someone goes in the youtube app they just have a different like mind frame to it or like different approach yeah to, like scrolling all those other platforms yeah makes sense Cool. I know you had a huge launch. Do you want to walk through like what your numbers were? Obviously, like not all of those numbers came from YouTube, but I'm sure it had a good impact. Yeah, I actually get a lot of people telling me they found me through YouTube, uh, which is funny. And then they follow me on other platforms. So I did a cohort launch back in January of 2024. And that did 200k approximately, I think a little bit over 200k cash collected. Yeah, YouTube was a huge part for that because I would send a lot of my newsletter traffic or social media traffic to those YouTube videos beforehand to just educating people or giving them value. And I think that really warms people up. And it builds that trust. We had YouTube as part of the overall strategy with just getting people warmed up and that really helped ease people with conversions when launch day came. And yeah, it was great. YouTube was a huge part of that. Oh, love to hear it. Cool. Last question for you, because I know you're a busy guy. If yeah. anyone's on the fence of working with us, what would you tell them? You 100% need to work with Eamon. The professionalism and the organization of Eamon and Ishmael and the whole team, it's fantastic. It doesn't feel like they're an agency. It feels like, you know, they're just like, they're looking out for you and it feels very white glove. And you don't get that with many agencies at all, even freelancers. They're just disorganized other people and it's just a shit show. And it's not what you want. You know, if you're actually running a serious business, you need to take content seriously and you need somebody that understands the nuance and how to guide things and actually how to deliver a quality product because at the end of the day if you're putting out shitty content that's a representation of your brand and your business and people are going to associate that shitty content with your business so you need to make sure you're actually investing in quality content and you're making sure someone's looking out for you because most people like i'm a content creator so i have a decent idea like what works well but if you have no idea you're not in the content world or creative like you 100 percent need someone to guide you like this is just a no-brainer right so yeah i definitely recommend Eamon and their team like they're they're killers worth every dollar and i i don't think you're gonna get a better agency cool thank you guys so much for watching so i'm gonna have all of dakota's social media links down in the description you should follow him he posts killer stuff and of course if you want to work with me and get some YouTube videos done, then hit the first link in the description. That's it. Do it.